Jimmy's unbelievable right now. He's just carried it over since spring training. You know, he had a little spell with the injury uh, late in the spring training, and then came up and he hasn't uh, stopped. He's another one that just continues to press and hit the ball hard to all parts of the field and comes up with very big hits. I know if you could bottle it, you'd make a zillion dollars and just retire, but what is it about him that uh, has lent to this tremendous play here? Well, you know what? I, I think that the, the main thing is just trying to get all the guys to keep it simple, have a plan and, and execute that plan, not get away from it, uh, trust it, and, and go out there and execute. And, and they, for the most part this uh, year, we've been able to do that. Chris Davis in that group as well, huh? Yeah, Chris has come around lately. And the main thing is, if you notice Chris early in the season, he wasn't putting the fastball in play. A lot of that means that he's not getting ready to hit. And he's late on the ball, and uh, he gets caught in between. So uh, he's ironed some things out. He's worked tremendously on that. And um, consequently, hopefully, he can cut those strikeouts down by getting the uh, fastball in play in between the white lines. Scott, if we're looking at him tonight, we're watching Chris Davis at the plate. How do we know he's ready, as you put it, to be on the fastball? Well, you can definitely see a difference because he's – He's not chasing a lot. He looks comfortable. Uh, looks like he can. Tra he's tracking the ball, and that's the one thing that I look for the hitters is when they're taking a pitch. Are they seeing the ball? Are they tracking it out the whole way? A lot of times, guys are getting surprised by the baseball. And when Chris gets surprised, you see his body's out of position. He's a little off balance when he swings. So uh, that's a telling tale for me when I see Chris at the plate. Chris, we had and I. Uh I apologize for not asking you in advance because this one, we had a story and there's a new video out which allows for hitters to look at baseball pitch recognition by looking at a video game. Do you use that? you know what that is? I've heard of it. We don't use it. Um, there's probably some guys that do it. I, I did talk to a couple people out in UC Irvine that did some studying on the brain about how a, using a video game can help your your uh, your brain kind of compute things a little faster because everything comes through the eyes, and uh, because of this video game, it, it kind of makes you focus, and uh, it's supposed to help you in the in the games. But I have not seen it or used it personally. All right, Could you give us a general overview, uh, offense of the Orioles. How you feel? Well, I feel pretty good right now. The emphasis is on doing the little things. You know, the game uh, asks something of you every at bat. There's an opportunity and a situation every time you come to the plate. And as long as guys see that and recognize that and try to execute it being in that moment, we're going to be okay. Adam Jones, there isn't a hot hitter in baseball right now. Uh, what do you see in Adam right now? Well, the first thing is special talent. That's number one. I mean, he's probably the most talented player I've ever been around. Um, he can do some things on a field that uh, kind of amaze you. But I think the, the main thing with him is the fact that he's keeping it simple. Um, he's not trying to think too much, he's seeing the ball very well. He's working off the fastball. That's very important. And uh, when you do that, you give yourself a chance to see the ball as early as possible, which is pitch recognition and see it all the way to contact. And consequently, seeing the ball, uh, seeing the, some of that spin that he normally swings at a little earlier and he can lay off. Scott, is, is it harder to work with someone who's got talent like an Adam Jones or a, what we call the, you know, the regular day ball player? Is it different? Well, I, I think the expectations are different, you know, because you see him so talented, but he's just like everybody else. I mean, they're going to go through their ups and downs, and, and you just got to work through it. Uh, but uh, I think, you know, the frustration sets in because you know how good he can